Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today we're gonna be doing the second build video on the Jack in the Box. <laughs> First, we are going to add a base to mount on all the parts, and then we're going to start working on hinging the top. All right, so what we're doing here is we're cutting out the bottom. So this is the part that's going to be on the bottom of the jack-in-the-box, and the pneumatic mech is going to be mounted on top. All right, so here is the bottom. The bottom is fully uh, screwed on, and it is ready. So that is where everything will be mounted on. And I was going to paint it red, and I still might, but I don't know. I don't think it's noticeable. Uh, even if I take a step back, you really don't notice it much, especially because this box will be in the grass pretty much. Um, so yeah, really not noticeable, but that is going to help later on. So next up, let's add the top. Okay, so here is the box. The top is now finished. It's this really thin wood, and it's really light. And yeah, pretty much, we just have to take these hinges um, and these will let it freely kind of move up when the thing hits it up. So we're going to drill those in and here we go. Okay, so both of the hinges are in place, and it opens perfectly. Uh, it looks so cool, and this actually completes the whole box. This is what the whole box looks like. I'll walk around. We got all four sides painted, and it looks so, so cool. Um, but yeah, next up, we have to do some of the inside stuff. So right here, I'm going to spray paint this all black so it doesn't take away from the clown that's jumping out. And then also probably get some cloth to cover this all. But yeah, that is the box. Okay, so here we are starting the mechanics. So first we've got the mech, and I have showed this already, but pretty much what this is, is we hook this up to an air compressor, and these allow it to push the piston up and down. Um, and then over here, here is all the Arduino stuff. So we've got this main bit over here, which is connected to the motion detector, and this will tell it when to go on and off. And then over here, this is the big relay, and this allows us to uh, make it go up and down and also allow it to just kind of go back and forth. And yeah. Okay, so here we have the code. This is telling it to go off right when it detects motion. So you can watch this little orange light, and when I put my hand in front of it, the orange light goes on. All right, so we have it hooked up to the relay, and you can hear that clicking noise. That's the relay, um, and if you put your hand in front of it, you can hear it click, and when you take it out, it clicks off. Okay, so here we have more code, and this tells it to not only jump up once, but also go back and forth, and this actually makes it look more professional and less like a spring prop so watch this green light and you can also listen to the noise but when i detect it when that goes on this means it jumps up and when you see it clicking on and off that means it's going back and forth and then finally it'll stay on for a bit and then click off for it to reset okay so now we have it connected to the relay and now you can watch this light here. And this is actually a part of this whole mechanism. And then the last thing to do is just attach to the air and then it will actually go up and down. But here you can watch when I detect the sensor. There it is. So you can see the light, it's all ready to go. So now we just have to let the air in. And pretty much what this does is it just tells it when to open the valves and let the air go into the cylinder. Okay, so we also have this spring attached here. So this will be attached to the box up in the corner. And this does not make it spring powered. This does not help the jump at all. It has no effect on it. 
but what it does do is its main purpose is just not allowing it to smash down on the ground super fast. Um, and that's because it's very heavy. Uh, so without the spring, it's too fast and doesn't really work. Okay, so we have it set to about 50 PSI, and that is just about perfect for this one cylinder. So let's trigger it. Okay, so here we are mounting this. So we are marking the four marks, and then we're gonna drill from the bottom up and put four screws with bolts in the bottom. And that's gonna hold this down really tight. So now we have all four screws pointing up and we are dropping the mech down on them. So this is gonna mount the mech and we're just gonna bolt it in place. Okay, so we have it bolted down. It won't need extra weight because the box is heavy enough. And yeah, there it is, super secure. It is not gonna come out at all. Very nice and secure. So next up, here's the lid, but pretty much we need to cut a hole um, or drill a hole in the back to allow the wires and the pneumatic tube and uh, maybe even some fog to go in and out of the box. Okay, so here we cut a hole for wiring and maybe even fog to go in the back. Okay, so here it is. All the mechanics are done. We've got the sensor here on the front. We've got all the wires going out the back over here. And time for the big reveal. Here is the inside. So this is the clown mask we chose. He looks awesome. He is on that uh, skeleton head because we didn't want it just to be that. And it makes more sense as a clown because it is a jack-in-the-box. So all the insides are put together so we've got the spring connected to the box and that really helps it not crush down to the bottom. Uh, we've got this fully mounted in here. We've got the Arduino down there. We've got the relay mounted in there. And yeah, the wires are going out the back and over here is the sensor. Okay, so for this demo, uh, we're not gonna be using the top. This is all gonna be next video. So next video, we're gonna figure out a way for it to push up the top because just with that latex mask, it is not able to. So we're gonna either have like some kind of roller or metal bar pushing it up. Uh, and that really helps it out a lot because right now really can't lift it too well. So we are gonna flip that back for this demo, but wait for the next video, which should be the final one where we do that. We add some cloth to make it look better and even paint some stuff like this, paint it black and finish it all up. So now it is time to show you the demo of it working. All right, let's do the demo. Okay, so that is all for this video. I think he turned out great so far. He looks awesome. Um, so next video, uh, what we're gonna be doing, I kind of already explained this, but pretty much we're gonna be decorating it more, making it look a bit better, and then adding the handle over here. So last video should be the next one. And yeah, that is about it. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.